Yes, I am upset because I realise this government doesn't care for us or any of the Irish people. When they violate our rights, both human and civil, for a, a private company which should not exist in the first place, and that is Irish water. It's a disgraceful. They have blocked out all television coverage, radio coverage, and news media coverage in the written world about all the protests in every town, city, and village in the country when this private private company is just enforcing us with the help of the Gardaí who are supposed to protect us and they are putting in water metering against our will and this should never happen I am so sad for Ireland and for the great Irish people it should not happen and it has to stop enough is enough How do you stop yourself being raped, being violated by the scam private company called Irish Water? First, I will give the full legal definition and then I will tell you in plain simple words how to stop this once and for all and it's all legal. Okay, listen up now. Irish constitutional law states the dwelling of every citizen is inviolable and shall not be be forcibly entered, safe in accordance with the law. Irish Water is a private company for profit by shared guarantee. Irish Water is a private company. Any correspondence from them should be dealt with like this. Return to sender. I do not recognise you. I do not understand your intent. It is not my wish or will to contract. I do not have an international treaty with you. No assured value, no liability, return to sender. To those who intend to install or already have installed without my knowledge or consent a water meter at the above address, this is a legal notice to all parties are hereby denied consent for such installation and the use of all such devices on or near the above property. Installation and use of such device, smart or analogue, is hereby refused and prohibited. No legislation supersedes the self-evident right of an individual in possession of unalienable rights to refuse to buy the services or goods of any entity, private or public, or to protect his or her health from the effects of such goods. A contract demands consent, and such consent is given no may be inferred. Further to that, informed consent is legally required for the installation of a smart meter device that has proven detrimental effects on health of users, having been banned in certain jurisdictions, or any surveillance device that will collect and transmit private and personal data to undisclosed and unauthorised parties for undisclosed and unauthorised purposes. Installation of a meter in direct disregard of this notice will be taken as Irish Water's tacit agreement that the meter is to be treated as an item of abandoned equipment and may be removed, disabled or disposed of by the object, subject or target of the device at his or her own discretion and convenience. Installation of a meter in direct disregard of this notice will also be taken as agreement that Irish Water and all other contracting parties will each be liable for damages amounting to not less than €5,000 per infringement for the direct disregard of the rights of the occupants and the health risks that smart meters create despite disclosure and awareness of both. I do not consent to and I will not engage in a contract with any supplier of water meters or services whatsoever. It is wholly inappropriate to invoke the intimidatory use of the Gardaí in the process of fitting these meters, where no crime has been committed and where the Gardaí should be protecting the rights of the people as enshrined in the Garda Oath of Office. Well. Did you get all that? Uh, I don't think so, because like myself, you'd want to be a barrister to understand that. So, this is the fact 
of the whole thing. Irish Water is a private company, so you do not have to contract with them. You do not sign anything. You do not take notice of them. Can you imagine somebody coming to your house and saying, well, I'm going to dig in your garden and place an aerial in it? You tell them to feck off, and rightfully so. So this is the fact of the thing. I went and got my legal signage because I recognised that they were coming soon to my area. Not only did I get my legal signage, I put other signs up and painted on the road, no consent, I don't want a water meter in here, and I don't want any contact with you at all. I haven't done all this. On the Monday morning, this gobshite of a guy comes along, opens my gate, bypasses all the signage that I have, comes in through another gate, and then into my front door to confront me. I had my car parked over my stopcock, which is my property and my responsibility, and my car was parked legally outside my home on the driveway in front of my gate on the road. I told him to politely feck off but he kept harassing me, threatening me with the police for what? I was doing nothing wrong. I was perfectly within my rights and he just came back four times so I didn't answer the door to him because I had enough said and he got the police the Garda. But I didn't confront them because I knew I would have been intimidated and not shown my legal rights to my own property, especially with the guardy who I respect, but disrespect now for coming to my home to intimidate me, to move my car when it was parked legally. So I just didn't converse with them at all and left my car there and the whole thing of the story is I have no meter within my stopcock because they couldn't fit one. They did attempt to go under my car to dig out for to place a meter, but as you can see from my photographs and video, they failed to place one, and I haven't got one now. And I'm not paying, and I'm not signing up, and I'm legally entitled to do this, and everyone should do the same. So come on, lads. We have to stand together against all politicians, all political parties because they look to be all in it for to line their own pockets which is disgraceful and should never happen united we stand divided we fall we are one and we'll never be defeated we are the great irish people stand together firm and tight and back one another up all the best to you everyone <laughs>